Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It's going to be a product demo for some stuff that Hive Alive sent me. So this is some pre-mixed feed and it's called Hive Alive Easy Feed Super Syrup. And it's enriched with the Hive Alive supplement. And that's the thing that uh, they have in their uh, feed that you can put into your own sugar water and mix your own. So a lot of people mix their own and I do in the five gallon buckets because I've got a lot of hives to feed. But uh, if you have three, four, five, six hives and that's all you have, this would be very handy for you. And it'd be handy for me as well uh, to have around like a couple years ago in the spring when my hives were starving out because uh, the flow stopped uh, early on and, and I had piles of dead bees. And I was, I was struggling to get stuff into the hives to keep them alive. This would have been great to have on hand to just put it in there and drop it in. and. Uh, it would have it would revive those hives quick, but I didn't have it back then. I don't think they made it back then. So let me open this up and show you what it what it looks like. And I think there's ten in here. Let's see, uh, nine two pound bags. So each bag is two pounds, and there's nine of them in here. So it's uh, eighteen pounds. Uh, these are on sale right now. I saw they sell for uh, forty nine, uh, basically fifty dollars, and. Uh, there we go so this is what it looks like and they also sent me a shim so you put the rounded edge up and you poke the holes in it but you got to have a shim to feed and they sent me this shim so i think this shim sells for nine dollars you can make your own i'm going to put this together real quick but i'll show you what these look like there's nine of them in here and it's uh this is heavy duty. This isn't like a Ziploc bag. This feels like some really uh, strong plastic. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would expect if you're shipping these like this, you're going to want a sturdy bag because if that uh, was to rupture, uh, the postal people would probably be pretty ticked off if that spilled out all over in the truck. So, yeah, this is great. Pre-mixed uh, with the Hive Alive already in it. So you lay it in there, you poke your holes, but you got to have a shim. Looks like this uh, shim, it's got some skid marks on it. It must have got stuck on the conveyor belt. But uh, very nice of Hive Alive to send me this. Uh, their minimum shipping is uh, $160 I saw, so you could combine this, you could get two of these, but I would combine it with some fondant right now. And uh, the fondant, they have a new a little piece, and I forget what it's called, but it's a little piece you put in the fondant in the corners to keep, so the bees can get in there better. So a lot of people were commenting that uh, the bees couldn't get the fondant out of the corners that it took longer. And I noticed that as well, but I just snipped the corners off and laid them in there and let them work it at their own leisure. So it was no big deal to me. But uh, if they send me a couple of those, I'll try them out as well. But uh, so you can make these. Uh, let's see. Looks to me like it's an uh, inch and a half. But I make shims out of uh, boxes, like brood boxes and supers that the corners are wore out, wore out and rotten. I will just uh, throw that thing on my table saw and cut between the nails in the corners and uh, just saw them off and I'll make my shims that way. So let's get this put together. And then I'm gonna take this out, put it on hive number 10 and show you that. Let's see, they sent screws with it. Looks like there's two screws per corner. My good DeWalt uh, impact is up at the house, so I grab this little thing I keep on my workbench. It's a little 12 volt. It's called a Kimo is the brand. <laughs> K-I-M-O. And uh, I got this on a deal on Amazon. I hang it on my workbench, so it's it's always there handy. It came with drill bits and if you if you're in a hurry you don't want to go grab your drill this one's always there on the ready turn the clutch down a little bit all right i've got the uh 
we call it the uh, imp 3 8 impact with this as well, impact wrench. I usually don't screw screws in with a drill. I was too lazy to walk to the house and get it, <laughs> my impact. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy, that's nice. You can make these, just get you a one by. You don't have to have a wore out box. Just grab, if you've got some one by scrap lumber, just uh, cut you some inch and a half strips. And you don't have to make that fancy joint like they do. Uh, just butt it together and pre-drill you a hole on where the screw's gonna go in and uh, screw it in there. Or you could use a nail gun. These don't have to be real sturdy. Oh, this has a, uh, a notch on it. So if I'm feeding and I want to make sure no other bees come in to get that. So I would put my telescoping cover and I'd pull it against that notch so nothing can come and go out of that. All right, good to go. So you can see I've been doing some bottling. Got the Jerome Bee Farm honey going. Uh, I've got four buckets left out of those 21 that aren't bottled. So everything that you don't see here is pretty much sold. I've been selling a lot of honey. Uh, I've been selling, I don't have one handy here, but uh, six pound half gallons. I sell quite a bit of those and I'll throw in uh, one of these for half price. So I sell the half gallon for $55 and I'll throw this in, in at half price for $5 for an even 60 for that. Quite a few people have been taking me up on that deal. And that saves me a lot of bottling too. And uh, it uh, helps move the honey faster. So I was afraid I was going to run out, uh, you know, earlier on. But I've got four buckets left. And it uh, seems like, I don't know, we'll see what, see how far we get with it. But All right, let's get out there with this shim. And I'm going to take one of these. And I'm going to take off that Apame feeder. And I'm going to get this on there and uh, poke my holes. And we'll get that thing set on Hive 10. Okay, here's our high 10, and I took down that uh, failed nuke there that was sitting there. So there's a little, there's a few robbers flying around. So I uh, got my shim sitting here and our two packs of feed. <clears throat> Let's get these put on here. So here's our Apame feeder. All right, there's a little bit of feed left in there. And our pollen patty looks like it's all gone now. Man, that's hard to get out. There it goes. I'll show you where that pollen patty goes. So I've been keeping just a little bit of a pollen patty in there uh, because I'm worried about the small high beetle larva. So here's the size of piece that I have that I've been putting in there about that size. So I want to get this feeder off of here and uh, put on our Hive Alive Easy Quick Feed. Still got some robbers flying around here. I don't care for that, but I want to... There's a high beetle. I want to get this video shot. Normally I'd wait until this calms down a little bit. So this is a Hive Alive the J-hook tool. So you can combine your order with this. I think these are 15. I love these. These are handy. And uh, I don't lose them because they're really bright colored. Okay, we'll do a quick inspection here. Got capped honey. Feel the weight of our hive. For single deep, I'd say it's a medium heavy. It's not where it needs to be yet. This is basically empty, which is why we're feeding it. And we want this uh, queen in here to, to lay more and uh, get the population built up. So this is bee bread mainly, so nectar mixed with pollen. A lot of bees on this frame here. So there's our brood frame. And there's eggs in these cells here that are empty that have already emerged. 
There's a little bit of liquid there. It's another brood frame. Our queen should be marked green. So we got larva in these empties here and younger larva out towards the edge. So she's backfilling this. Same thing here, we've got larva in here. Surprised I didn't see her yet. One more brood frame here. And we have larva around in here and cat brood. Not as much as the other two frames. I have missed my queen. And this is empty. Well, these frames here are, there's nothing on them. I may have, when I smoked it, run her off. Ah, when I smoked it through that pollen patty feeder. All this is pretty much empty out here. Yeah, no need to keep going. Ah, there she is. She's a nice blonde VSH Italian queen. Wildflower Meadows. I'll put a link to Wildflower Meadows in there so you can see where I get. When I buy queens, that's where I buy them most of the time. I'll put that up against this other frame while I know where she's at in the middle. And then I'm going to scoot these two over together. That way I don't squish a queen. So this hive needs population built up and that's what they've been doing. So they're getting stronger slowly. But uh, may need to put this into a nuke, but I'm hoping by end of this month, so all those uh, cells you saw that were capped, those will be bees. And uh, I may overwinter this by putting another colony on top of this with a double screen. But for now, we're going to get some more feed on them. I gave them quite a bit of feed last time in that Apame feeder. So put on this shim. And I'm going to put my pollen patty right here over where that brood is at. Put it right there over that. We'll leave the paper on to keep the small high beetles from laying eggs in there. There we go. So that's right above the brood. Don't need to smoke them down. If you had bees all over the top, you don't want to set these bags right on top of them. I'm going to put two in. I'm going to put one in the front and one in the back. I'm going to put the uh, curved part to the top. So the flat part is sitting on the flat part of the frames. I'll take me the little nail here and I'm going to poke my holes. Three, four, five, six. I'll poke these out here. You can see a little bit pooling up. There we go. These bees here are robbers. So I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to put my cover where it covers this notch so bees can't get in here that don't belong to this hive. Pull it back. You can use your hive tool in the back too like this. Put it up under there and pull it back. That way you know. Ah, I made it jump. <laughs> I pulled on it too hard. So another thing, after you poke those holes, you can press down on this a little bit to squeeze a little bit of that liquid out, get it going on the top. That'll attract them up there to it. Okay, so yeah, those easy feeders, they're great. Uh, I really like those. Uh, I could have really used something like that. Like I said earlier in the video, when I had a lot of bees dying out here in the spring and I needed something quick, don't have to mix anything up. It's pre-mixed, they're ready to go. And uh, these would be good for uh, small scale bee beekeeping too. If uh, that's the only method you use, you just have those on the ready. And uh, I, would, I would have those, I would have fondant, and I'd have pollen patties on the ready all the time. And uh, you could get your order up to 160, so it's free shipping, get, get one of each of those, throw you in a hive tool. And uh, I really do like Hive Alive products. I wouldn't endorse them if I don't think they're, they're good. I had a record setting uh, over a thousand pounds of honey this year. 
uh, harvest. That's more than I ever had. My biggest harvest was uh, 700 pounds, a little over. And uh, I used Hive Alive products exclusively this uh, last year, uh, last year going into winter and, and coming out. And I fed a lot of the Hive Alive supplement, fondant, and pollen patties. And I had a record setting year. The weather was really good too, that helped, but I believe the Hive Alive really helped as well. So uh, you can uh, get a 10% discount if you use my promo code. And uh, so 10% off your entire order. And uh, I think it's 15% off the liquid uh, if you use my promo code. And uh, check that out, I'll put the links below. And give me a thumbs up and on the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we're approaching 13,000 subscribers now. <laughs> I really appreciate that from y'all. Uh, so we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.